So greetings, I'm Mark Shep, Executive Director of Aloha, and we're about encouraging and equipping congregations for older adult ministry. And in this series of videos, we're talking about five, we're calling them ministry areas for congregational life. And we pick these five because we really believe that everyone in some way is going to resonate or be affected by them in one way or another. And they actually came from some real life stories in my own life. Perhaps you'll experience the same thing. This topic is about care sharing and We've changed the name intentionally. Caregiving is the typical name. It's not a one-way street, and that's true for the story that I'm going to share. My wife, Becky's mom, uh, has had dementia. And really, she was the care sharer for both her parents in different ways. Dementia adds an additional challenge. So Doris was living with Norman. He was sick and in the hospital and extended recovery away from where they lived. And Doris was at the facility they had been living at. Now, the administration was fine with her being there with dementia until she started to wander. She left the building unannounced. The jig was up. Becky got a call and had to provide round-the-clock on-site care for her mom, which lasted six weeks until they found an alternative. And that was not an easy task in rural Michigan. So in the end, it was a true reciprocal relationship, and Becky experienced a real growth in her relationship with both parents at different times in the care-share relationship during those stretches. So check out the resources we have available in each area. And really, if you know of strong resources for this topic, we would really love to hear about them. We do not want to reinvent the wheel. And we also, also really strongly encourage you to revisit the mission and the, the why menu links. That helps us remember the critical nature of this ministry in the overall life of the church. So blessings to you as you plan ministry with and for older adults in your congregation. And honestly, we'd love to hear from you, especially any of your stories around these five areas. God bless.